So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building Gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller. As you can see, it is trending on hash three on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Uh, so hi everyone. Today we will be talking about a very interesting use case around multi-agent orchestration that is conducting automatic interviews. So in this case, particularly in the tutorial that I would be explaining, uh, I am setting up two AI agents, one as an interviewer, other as an interviewee. The interviewer would be asking questions, taking responses from the interviewee, evaluating them. And eventually after a set of questions, it would be deciding whether he should be selecting the candidate or not. So this is completely automatic. Now, if you look into a real world use case, instead of the interviewee, that is also an AI agent, you can replace it with user inputs. So in that case, the LLM would be conducting the entire interview and finally giving you a result. So let's get started. So the tech stack that I'm using here is LangGraph alongside Olama. So uh, if you are new to multi-agent orchestration or if you are new to LangGraph, I would suggest you to check out my playlist on multi-agent orchestration and beginner tutorials on LangGraph or Autogen or Creo AI, whatever works for you. I've already covered a number of use cases like movie scripting or debate application, creating an AI agent team, etc. So you can check that out. So first of all, uh, getting started here, we would be setting up the imports where we would be importing all the important functions. As you can see here, you can see that I'm importing Olama because I would be using a local LLM and hence inferencing would be a little slow. That is why I won't be executing the codes on the fly and I've already executed the whole script, which took me some time, right? Now going to the most important part of Lang graph that is deciding over the graph state variables. So if you don't know, graph state variables are nothing but the state, the variables that are used throughout the graph execution shared among all the functions. So the uh, variables that I'm setting up here is the history that holds the entire conversation, the entire interview result is the final result given by the interviewer to the interview that whether he gets selected or not, total number of questions to be asked interviewer candidate current question current answer let's get started uh, the workflow that i'm uh, setting up here is using the variable that i'm uh, do uh, so workflow is an object that i'm creating using the state graph function passing this particular class that's it now there are a set of four prompts that i'm using in this particular case one is the prompt for the interviewer that you are dash, you need to interview a dash. This is the interview so far. Ask your next question and don't repeat your question. So basically the role that we would be setting up, who should be the interviewer, who should be the interview that is customizable. So that's the best part. So in this particular case, I'd be showing you how a senior data scientist interviews a junior data scientist, but it is not limited to that. You can have a senior product manager interviewing an intern, etc. So this is up to you. Prompt interviewee. So again, uh, from the perspective of an interviewee, how the prompt should look like? You are dash. You have appeared for a job interview. Answer the questions as in very short and less than 10 words. Why I'm using this particular part? Very short and 10 words because as I already told you, Olama inferencing is very slow and it is taking me a very long time to execute one iteration. That is why just to keep things short and just for demonstration purpose, I wish to show that the entire pipeline works and works fine. The third problem that I'm using is check whether the answer given by the interview is correct or not. Right. And evaluate on a scale of 10. And the fourth one would be given the all the results that we have accumulated so far, whether the candidate should be selected or not. So let's get started. So the first one, uh, one more problem that I've missed is prompt cleanup that I would be coming later. If I am using this. Handle question. So the uh, all the functions that have a prefix handle are nodes of LangGraph. So if you are new to LangGraph, I would definitely suggest you to go check out my tutorial on LangGraph for beginners. Uh, so in this case, I'm reading all the state variables that are required, the history so far, the role that is the interviewer and the candidate, and then generating the question by the interviewer in this particular case. So handle question basically helps you generate the question by the interviewer for the interview. Now the return part is quite, in, uh, is very important. Here I'm updating the history variable that is holding the entire conversation. So you ask a question, we append that question into the history. We get a response from the interviewee. We append that also into the history. We get the results of the question asked. 
equipment that also so everything is getting logged into the history variable current question makes sense total questions as is it it should be initially zero but we as we ask start asking questions it will append to plus one plus one now the next function the next node of the lang graph is handle response so depending upon this particular question being asked as you can see i'm reading the question here you are a can i'm filling the values for candidate and question so like for example if you look into here you are a junior data scientist in this particular case you have appeared for an interview answer the question output just the answer no extra text question colon what is unsupervised learning so this would be coming from the first part handle question which is getting stored into the current question variable and then once we get a response from the candidate we are again updating the history and the current answer the third part is the most interesting one where we would be evaluating the answer given uh, so we read the current question the current answer and then eventually evaluate whether the answer is correct or not and give it a rating out of 10 now once we have fine we have asked a number a series of questions uh, we have hit a threshold for total questions i would be showing you the graph how it looks like we will be jumping on to handle results where we will be loading the entire history cleaning up the history this cleanup is required because the llm that i'm using is not state of the art uh, llama 2 7 billion is not state of the art and it's not also the best available right so there are some issues while generating the conversation so if you are trying if like just to clean up some junk out of the text that has been generated i am using this part but i am assuming that if you are using open ai api or like or even cloud api you won't be requiring this particular step so we load the entire history which includes the question the the response given by the interview and the evaluation also and then your final verdict whether he should be selected or not now we are if i jump on to the graph that we have built so that for a better understanding the graph starts from the start point handle question so the first node that would be executed is the handle question so the interviewer would be generating a question now depending upon the question asked uh, a response is generated by the interviewee now once the response is also generated the result is the response is evaluated and then we go to check conversation length so if the total number of questions variable if you remember there is a variable that we have said that is total questions if we haven't breached that the threshold hasn't been reached we again go back to handle question ask a new question we get a new response we evaluate and then again check back once we have asked total number of expected questions we go to handle results which loads the entire history variable and gives you a final verdict whether the candidate should be selected or not now this entire thing is handled completely by the llms so as we have already discussed about the different nodes that are getting added here we will be adding these nodes using workflow.add node now this is also an interesting part and this is the uh, game changer for us so that uh, we are adding a conditional edge conditional edge is basically choosing the work uh, the workflow depending upon a particular criteria so once we hit the handle evaluation this particular unit we check for the length of the conversation and that is the total number of questions being asked till now not the length of the conversation if the total number of questions being asked is still less than three we again go back and ask a new question or else we go to handle result so handle result is basically accumulating the entire history and giving a final verdict now just for as i already told you the inferencing is slow that is i've kept it as three but it should be easily 10 or 20 if you are uh, trying to mimic a real world scenario now we would be setting an entry point that is handle question so the first node that would be executed is handle question then add edge between handle question handle response so this is the edge it is talking about this particular edge then this edge we add then this edge we add right and then we go for workflow.compile now here you can see that uh, while invoking this particular graph i am setting the total questions equal to 0 it's basically initializing the graph right the candidate is a junior data scientist the interviewer is a senior data scientist and the history is nothing now if you look into the conversation that we had it's pretty interesting if you see what are some of your favorite machine learning algorithms the senior data scientist ask the junior data scientist gives a result what action do you have working with large data sets can you tell me about you have handled missing data in a data set so it is able to ask some questions it is able to generate some answers now i forward to print the result but eventually if you look into the logs that i set up here you can see that we got a result and the lm is the graph is able to detect that yes you should be 
selecting the candidate and eventually it is also giving a reason also the data scientists demonstrate good strong understanding of machine learning algorithms and large data sets as well as experiences working with missing data so this is how you can see that you can uh, set up an entire interview process using langraph and multi agent orchestration and to make it uh, more useful for the real world so what i would suggest you if you have an api also instead of this particular part the llm prompt you should use user input so instead of an llm replying to the question being asked it should be the actual interviewee who should be responding to this particular question generated by the llm and eventually you can have an automatic interview system within your company and you can set it up thank you hope this is useful and you also try to develop some interesting use cases around multi agent orchestration